can take y'all serious. You say a uh, oak, a uh, oak grove family says a player stumped on son's head during the basketball game. When I saw the raw footage, I was like, oh, Jesus, why would he do that? Alameda. New reporter covering Sacramento County, Tori Abadaka shows us. They always try to hurt me. They always try to hurt me with the early ass commercials. Maybe I need to set them up on my own thing by the early commercials. Covering Sacramento County, Tori Abadaka shows us the attack and the action being taken. I spoke with one of the Elk Grove team's trainers who says this type of behavior is completely unacceptable while out on the basketball court or out in life. Two teams from different teams scuffling for an inbound ball during a youth basketball game, ending with a head stomping. We chose to blur the kids in stomping because it's graphic. No real basketball player should ever react the way that kid reacted. Eyes up. Sam Luong says the 13-year-old he's been training since grade school now has a concussion. The father of Seth Giab sharing this photo of his son with me. The footprint on the side of his head clearly visible from the stomping. If any of my college guys did that in their college game, scholarship revoked. If any of the professional guys did this in their game, contract revoked. According to a Facebook post from the nonprofit Bay Area basketball team Peyton's Place, the kid accused of the attack is no longer a team member. The post saying in part, quote, we are working to assist in providing him resources to prevent this in the future. Violence has never been a part of our team. We, we can't, can't do this in regular life, so why should we be able to do it in a youth basketball game? But could the team face more serious consequences? It was unprovoked. It was unnecessary. There was no self-defense or defense of others. Local attorney unrelated to the case, Justin Ward, says yes. One would be battery because of the stomping, and the other would be assault. There are no charges to the team yet. Shoes on, ready to roll. But Luong says it starts with parents. And that's where the problem come in that we don't be um, pressing charges. A lot of time we don't be pressing charges because they is teens. Willie, they just kids. They add need to be held responsible. Setting a better example on the sidelines. Up and out. Go, Jaden. And coaches having accountability of their kids on the court. So I feel as if. Youth sports needs more voices as far as leadership goes. Teaching kids how to play fair while in the heat of the game or in the heat of life. I hope this doesn't stop his dream of achieving whatever he wants in basketball. Most importantly, I hope his mental dream you know, can recover from something like this. The Alameda Police Department tells me that it is investigating what happened during that youth basketball game. As far as the family, they're hoping that their son's story will really prevent this and bring a change to youth sports everywhere. Wow, oh, Tori, thank you. Well, the attorney for Seth's family from Elk Grove shared a statement with CBS 13 saying that... I don't care about no damn statements because I got something else for you. Um, hold up, because I knew that they weren't going to show y'all good people. Not damn it, way the footage. Way the footage. Because I got the footage. I can't find the footage. It's doing me dirty. Hold up, hold up, hold up, swill up. Hold up, get rid of that, 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 that. That's not it. That's not it. Wow. Wow, was it? I think it was the one of. Want to register for an LLC in four years? Oh, man. Oh, where the actual footage at? Hold on. Let's see if they're going to show it here. They ain't going to show it on this one either. Wait. Let me see. Oh, what? Damn it. This one here, they got kind of close with it, but I had the raw footage. Let's see. Playing an East Bay based team called Peyton's Place. And the incident happened after one of the L Grove players right fell there. to the floor. The ref then restrained the other player after he that L Grove players though. fell to the floor. The ref then restrained the other player after that moment and walked him off the court. The attorney for the L Grove family says this is what it seems to show one player stomping on the head of an opponent. Oh, it happened Sunday during a youth travel ball game at the College of Alameda. A team from Elk Grove was playing an East Bay based team called Peyton's Place. And the incident happened after one of the Elk Grove players fell to the floor. 
the ref then restrained the other player after that moment and walked him off. Man, I want to show that. Damn it. I had it up, but I don't damn it, I don't know what happened. Alameda. The reporter covering Sacramento County, Tori Abadaka, shows us the attack Everybody and the action being the shit out now. It's crazy, but damn it, I'm just going to leave this shit right there. Damn it, his dad need to be, charges need to be pressing and need to be off the basketball team. Period, period, point blank. Stop playing with people. Stop playing with people. You think that you in the goddamn street. That damn it, his, his, his mammoths need to be held responsible. He need to be taught. You will never play around here no goddamn more. The furthest that you will go is to the park, bitch. You would not play on them um, school football team or no, damn it, the team basketball or nothing. Bitch, you can't even play golf. We done with you.